Who's a little Yoda? Who's a good little Yoda? Uh, oh, oh. Hi. Um, so, yeah, breaking news. Uh, I know, I know not a lot of people are going to be happy about this. But, let's, let's, let's read it. Let's, let's just, let's just write into it. Boom, we're live. All right. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy extends contract for another three years. Kathleen Kennedy will be overseeing the galaxy far, far away from the foreseeable, uh, foreseeable, whatever. According to a report from The Hollywood Reporter, Kennedy just extended her contract with Disney for another three years as the president of Lucasfilm and all things Star Wars through 2021. As of this October, Kennedy will be served will have served six years, <laughs> Kennedy will be served, <laughs> will have served six years with the company after being put in charge following Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012 for over four billion dollars. Hmm. One of the first decisions as a leader was to start building a brand new Star Wars trilogy with J.J. Abrams at the helm, and thus The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi were born. Also, my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Ron Howard was brought on as a replacement and reshot nearly whatever, whatever. The contract extension clearly shows that Disney has confidence in Kennedy and her big blueprints for Juca George Lucas creation. In fact, many gears are turning over at Lucasfilm. Currently, episode 9 is shooting a slew of... What does slew mean? Slew? Of new Star Wars movies are in the works from Game of Thrones, showrunners DB, Weiss, Weiss, and David Bienoff. Benioff. I just butcher your names. I'm sorry. A new trilogy is underway from The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, and a live action TV show is being developed for Disney's upcoming streaming service by Iron Man's John Favreau. Even an animated series set before The Force Awakens Star Wars Resistance will air in October. Episode 9 hits theaters on December 20, 2019. All right. I know what you guys are expecting me to do. You guys are expecting me to rant and say that this is horrible news and how is this happening and everything and everything. I am not going to take that approach. I'm not going to be negative about this, this news. I know that's what's expected and that would be very easy for me to do. To just go and trash everything and say, flip the table, screw everything. But no. Number one, I want to, I, I want to say that I'm happy for Kathleen Kennedy because I know what it's like to not have a job. I know what it's like to be hungry. And I know what it's like not to be liked. So if she didn't have a job, she probably has a family or something. That would be very bad for her and her family. So the fact that she has a job for the next three years, good for you, Kathleen Kennedy. I am definitely going to say that I do not agree with anything that you're doing with the Star Wars franchise. So with this new three-year contract, I hope that uh, you can listen to the feedback, that you can listen to us and give us a better product with better stories, better characters, better content, because we want to love it. I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to be talking bad about Disney or Lucasfilm or anything. I want to love it. I want to support it. I want you to have all of my money. Like every single money that I earn making tacos in the street, I, I want it to go to you. So please, just please listen to us. Listen to our side of the story. Second, I'm also going to say that I'm glad. I think I speak for all of us that we don't want Star Wars to just die. And for the fans to be blamed because Star Wars died. I, I, I don't th I, I am pretty sure I'm speaking for everyone when we say that. Now, I am a firm believer that we, the fans, we are Star Wars. And we are the ones that keep Star Wars alive. And that's always going to be the case. Doesn't matter who owns the copyrights, we are going to keep Star Wars alive. 
My re-edit of The Last Jedi is proof of that. Uh, Star Wars Theories, a fan film of Darth Vader, it's proof of that. Darth Maul Apprentice, all the animated short films that other people put out, it's proof of that. That we, at the end of the day, we are Star Wars. So I'm going to say that I'm happy that Star Wars is still alive, it's still in progress, it's still in the works. Because who knows? Who knows? Maybe the new uh, Star Wars series is going to be amazing. I'm very excited for the Game of Thrones trilogy. Super excited. Uh, I'm not necessarily excited about Ryan Johnson directing his trilogy. But who knows? He might actually surprise us and be like, all right, you can actually do something. But that's what I have. That's Those are my two cents. I'm trying to be very positive about this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to give in into what it's very easy to do, which is just anger and frustration and fuel, uh, you know, the fire with just gasoline and make it explode. So I'm going to be probably going to receive a lot of hate for what I just said, but I don't care, kind of. I just think that there's enough negativity and let's show Disney that we are not going to fight fire with fire, that we're going to fight it with compassion and understanding and Kennedy, if you are in charge of Star Wars, please be the captain that we want you to be. Be the leader that we want you to be and be the person that we want to admire. That we can say, you know what? She listened. She listened to the fans. And now with this new three years, she's acting completely as a leader. And I want you, I really want you, Kathleen Kennedy, that you make me personally swallow every single one of the words that I've ever said. Every single comment, negative comment that I've said about you, I want you to tell, to, to give me reasons to publicly just say, I am so sorry, Kathleen Kennedy. You have done amazing work and I retract everything I've ever said. I really want, I really want. So those are my two cents. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this. Uh, for the ones that hate me right now, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just trying to bring a little bit of positivity into, uh, into this news that I know it's going to get a lot of hate. And for the ones that don't hate me, thank you. <laughs> really, thank you. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.